Hey everybody, welcome back. For this video, we're going to be going over sentiment analysis using T. Kenter as our GUI, requests, beautiful soup, and text blob. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at a website and take a look at the text in it for its intent, whether it's positive, negative, or neutral. And for the T. Kenter GUI, we're going to have a header that explains what the program is, what it does, and how to use it which is gonna be pretty straightforward for this video. So let's dive into this. This code is pretty straightforward. So I have two main functions and then the GUI code. So for the first function, we have the fetch text. So this is where we're going to get the text from the URL and it's gonna use requests and beautiful soup in order to uh, pull the text in. And then there's some exception handling. In the next function, we're going to perform the sentiment analysis on the text using text blob and then depending on whether it's positive, negative, or neutral, we'll get our uh, result. And then finally, in the tkinter GUI, or user interface, we'll have our title and then a label that explains what we're doing, a button that has a, you know, a self-explanatory uh, you know, what you're doing with the button, and then another label below that that says, this is the text that will be analyzed, and then a, another button below that that says, analyze the sentiment, and then the result appears below that. So when I run the program, the GUI pops up, and this is the website that I chose randomly for uh, the purposes of this video. Uh, the name of this short story is called The Eyes Have It. It's not real long, but it, it's enough for you know performing a decent analysis on the text. So I take the URL and I enter it into the text box. I click fetch text. Then I do a, a quick check just to make sure that the text kind of matches what was on the URL itself, and it does. I click analyze the sentiment, and then it gives me the result. Not only does it tell me that it's positive, but it also gives me the value that it uh, that it analyzed, and it was 0.11, and that's all there was to it for this. So this is a very powerful yet simple tool that you can use to perform sentiment analysis. So let's say that you wanted to, you know, for example, look at a movie review to see if it was, uh, you know, very good or a product review or uh, you wanted to read somebody's blog on a, a destination that you've been you know, looking at. This program uh, can take a look at that text that's in uh, the review itself and determine quickly whether it's positive, negative or neutral. If you have any questions, please let me know. Uh, hit the like button, and I will see you all next time.